Good day, Gemini, and welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading for May 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Ooh, three of clubs. Miles just ended there. You know, because this card trumps all the cards. And that's a damn good card, too. Uh, Eight of Hearts. Nine of Spades. And the Nine of Clubs. Okay, so your general energy for the month of May is the Nine of Clubs. Um, struggle. Uh, it is not over. Whatever str you're struggling with is not over. And it might not end at the end of this month either. It might not end this month. It might still be going on throughout the whole month. Um, and you might feel like giving into it. You might be like, you know what? This is my struggle. This is all it's ever going to be. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, the cards say no. Don't give up. The end is near. And you are damn strong enough to handle this. And in fact, when it comes to struggles, sometimes we do have the solution. Sometimes we just aren't seeing it. So you might want to really take a good hard look at the struggle and at what you can do to either end the struggle or ease it, you know, ease it up. Uh, but either way, you are strong enough to make it through this struggle. So don't you give in to any struggles that you're going through right now. All right. Don't give up. At the, especially with this, especially with this at the beginning of the month here, the three of clubs, right? Absolute success. This card trumps all the cards. Fame and fortune is yours. Uh, so let's get into this. Fame does not mean that you're going to be, you know, you're going to get an Oscar or something. Unless, of course, you actually are up for like an Oscar or something or a re award or some shit like that, uh, which I mean... I guess, you know, it could be a small award, but for the most part, what it means is that people are going to look at you like you're famous. You know, they're going to idolize you. They're going to see you as something uh, grand. Um, fortune just means that you're not going to be, uh, I mean, it, it could mean that you're going to win the lottery, but the, the chances of that is just as big as the chances of you actually winning the lottery, so next to none. Uh, but... What it does mean is it means that uh, you're just going to be financially stable uh, this month. You know, you're not going to have any uh, financial, real hardcore financial issues uh, at, at the, during this month, or at least at the beginning of the month. But with the with the three of clubs, I always look at it that this is stuff that's going to go on through the entire month because it trumps all the cards. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like this, take the struggle for instance, right? Uh, this card assures that you will definitely not give into the struggle, right? Because you have this energy uh, with you where people are idolizing you and you're doing okay and whatnot. Uh, other than the struggle itself, you are not going to be struggling in other uh, areas of your life uh, this month. Uh, then we move on to the middle of the month here. You need to let go. You're holding on to something. Now here, this could very well be the struggle. Uh, this is, could be where I'm talking about uh, how sometimes we can end the struggle. Uh, and this could very well be it. The struggle could be something that you're holding on to. And you don't want to let go because you don't want to go through the pain. Because it is going to be emotional. Because whatever the struggle is, is probably something that you care about a lot. And but it's a struggle, like it's it's weighing down on you, and you won't let go of it. And the cards are saying, "Let go. You need to move on. You know, you need to move forward in your life. Uh, you need to go through that pain. Uh, sometimes that's just how it happens. You know, we have to go through that. And I feel like with this card showing up in the middle of the month, uh, and then the three of clubs, I would say that in the middle of the month is when you're going to realize." 
that that's what you need to do is let go. You're actually going to see it. You're actually going to understand it in the middle of the month. You're going to be like, oh, you're going to have a oh moment, right? Uh, and sure enough, here at the end of the month, there's a death, nine of, nine of spades. So there is going to be a death of something. Now, this can be the death of somebody, right? But most of the time, it's about something. The death of an idea, the death of a job, the death of a relationship. In this, in this scenario, in this layout, I would say that this is the death of a relationship. I really feel like, um, oh, or it could be the death of a job too. So it could be either or, right? Because it could be a struggle. A job that you're in can definitely be a struggle and a relationship, you know, so it could be either one. So who knows? But, but whatever it is, I feel like the cards are definitely saying that you're going to be going through the struggle, but you're not going to give up because of the three of clubs. And then you're going to realize in the middle of the month, that you need to let go of whatever it is the struggle is, and that's how you're going to end the struggle is by letting go, by going through that pain, by going through that emotional upheaval, right? And then by the end of the month, I see it dying. I see, I see the the struggle, whatever it may be, just dying off. And the thing is, is that yes, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be very emotional. It's going to be painful. But whatever this is, obviously, is struggle. You know, it's been causing you fear. It's been causing you worry, nightmares, problems. It has not done you any good regardless of how much you care about it, right? It's been causing you issues. And you might not see it at the end of the month when it happens, when it, when the death comes. You might not see it that it's a good thing. But as time goes on, you will see and you will understand that it was for the best. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Ooh, yeah. Definitely. You got the two of pentacles. Definitely. It's definitely going to be a juggling act. You're going to be juggling with all kinds of crap here. Uh, just between the struggle uh, and, and the knowing that you need to let go in order to have the struggle end with something that you care about, right? So it will definitely be a juggling act in your mind, um, definitely from the middle to the end, possibly at the beginning too, you might, because I mean, the struggle's there the whole time, but uh, I really think that in the middle of the month is when you're going to really have that aha moment and be like, oh, this is, this is what the cards meant, you know, but it will, and then you'll start juggling, you'll start juggling on you know what to do about all of this and and letting go and all that good stuff so there you go i hope this resonated i hope it helped in some way and if it did please uh hit the like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here uh next month and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy